Howdy folks. Uh, today I want to touch on something I think a, a lot of y'all folks out there need to hear. Uh, first thing is over this whole country debate. Who's country and who ain't. And I really ain't talking about as far as music. Because I think, first off, you like what type of music you like. I don't, I don't really give a shit what it is. I listen to all types of music. I ain't real fond of this new pop country fad, but ain't none of my business. Fuck it, I just don't listen to it. I make fun of a few of the folks that sing it just because it's funny. It's just to get a laugh. I don't really care if they keep making music because I'm going to keep not listening to it. But no, this is for all the people that talk shit about other people. You know, friends, neighbors, folks down the road about not being country. You know, arguing because you're more country than them or they don't know what country is. Let me tell you something, folks. Country is a lot of different things. It means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. And uh, there's different types of country. Just because you're a certain type of country and they're a different type of country don't mean they ain't country. They might got you out country by a lot. See, to me, country is a mindset. It's a way of life. Maybe a way of life you want to be living and you ain't got the opportunity to live it yet or, or you don't have the resources to live it, but you know it's a way of thinking. It's a way you want your life to go. To me, you can be a city boy born and raised in Manhattan, live in a high-rise apartment, but your way of thinking is you want out of that apartment, you want out in the woods. Every chance you get, you out in the woods or you, you take up a hobby, uh, outdoorsy, I guess you'd say, hobby. Uh, you know, you, you want to be on that bull even though you can't, or you want to be out there roping even though you can't. Shit like that. You want to be hunting and fishing, running nets, catching frogs, shit like that, but you can't. Uh, the opportunity hasn't presented itself, it hasn't come available yet in life, but you do everything you can, you're working towards that. Then you country to me. You, you don't have to have done it before to be country. You country enough for me. You want it, you working at getting it, you country. And don't let any of these fucking idiots tell you any different. Don't let them get you down, don't let them discourage you. If anything, you probably more country than them. Because what they should be doing is taking you under their wing, helping you out, trying to get you started, you know? Take one of these kids, mentor them. Get them out in the woods, teach them to hunt, fish, you know, teach them to track, teach them to trap. Do something instead of talking about how they ain't country or they spoiled or they raised in the wrong generation. Do something for them. Help them out. Do something for our breed of people that's dying out every day. And all you can do is be so proud about being country, you won't help nobody else to become that way. Lots of different types of country out there. Ain't none of them right, ain't none of them wrong. You just are what you are. If you want to be something different, then be something different. You can change yourself, you can change your life. Do that. Do it. Just strive for it. If you don't make it, hey, you tried. Just don't ever quit trying. Just keep going. Either you make it or you don't. Anyway, that's my thought on country. All you fuckers need to leave people alone. Help them out if you can't do nothing else. But, you know, stay out your way. Leave them alone. If you're one of those people that brag about how country you are, you probably have two testicles. Both of them's on your chin. You talk shit about how country you are, I bet you get picked on all the time at the rodeo by your fellow barrel racers. You ain't country just because you use a country flower. If you're one of those people that brag about how country you are, your favorite movie is probably about cowboys. It's called Brokeback Mountain. One of those old boys that brag about how country you are, you probably got a bone collector tramp stamp across your lower back. You brag about how country you are, I bet mossy oak is your favorite colored dildo. Second thing, and one that's probably more passionate to me, is uh, these hunters. You know, you got these people that talk shit about these guys that go and pay all this money to hunt in a high-fenced area. Uh, and then take pictures of it like they're proud of their trophy. And they talk shit saying, oh, well, that ain't a trophy because he paid for it. It's bought and paid for it. It's a high fence. First off, who gives a fuck? You had time to go scout. You had a place to set up. You have land to hunt or even even if it's public land you had time to go out there and scout and set up and do everything you could you got time to get away and do that kind of shit what's the difference in you putting in the time and energy and effort into into scouting and finding that buck or setting up and finding that buck uh if that guy didn't have the time to do it because he was working well he worked his ass off put just as much work and labor and effort into it and instead of him being out in the woods he just took the money he made while he was working and when he got a chance, he went and paid to be able to go kill that deer. No, it might not be the same, but he's proud of it. Don't cut him down for it. He done what he could. I don't see why it's any of your business. Why are you mocking him and putting him down? 
We a dying breed, son. There's plenty of people trying to ruin what we got going. We don't need people on the inside doing it. Just like these people talking about all these these uh, dog hunters. Okay, you don't like to hunt that way. That's fine. Don't hunt that way. Well, why the fuck does it matter if somebody else does it? You like to steal hunt. That's cool. You like to track and stalk. That's cool. What the fuck does it matter how he likes to kill his deer? Uh, you tearing people down. People with the same kind of passion in their heart for their sport as you got for yours. But you want to talk shit about them. To me, you're the fucking pussy. Now, I'll fuck around with people, give them hell, just to, just to do it. My buddy, not people I don't know, but just to do it, because they know I'm fucking around. They fuck around right back with me. Just give each other hell. But, uh, you know, I like to do it all. I like to hunt, fish, frog. Uh, I, I like to steal hunt. I like to stalk. I like to drive. I like to use dogs. All of it. I'm passionate for all of it. I don't give a fuck what we're doing. We're going to get in the woods. We're going to catch or kill something. We're going to have something to eat tonight. Maybe that's why I'm different, because I'm not so passionate about one thing that I give the rest of it up. I want to do it all. Maybe if more people thought like me, hell, there's shit I don't like doing. I don't like duck hunting like other people like to duck hunt. I don't want to get up at 2 o'clock in the morning and go wade through ice and stand there until the water freezes back around me just to shoot a handful of ducks. That's not me. I don't hate duck hunters. I don't say they're pussies. I don't try to talk shit about them. I just don't go. Why don't you try that? If you don't like dog hunting, don't go dog hunting. But don't try to shut it down for other people. That's the last thing we need, guys. Stand up for our sport, for our passion. Don't stand up for yours, because that divides us. And when we're divided, they will conquer. So quit fucking off tearing each other down. Grow some nuts. Help each other out. You ain't no more country than anybody else. Shut the fuck up. Do something productive. Quit being a bitch. That's what bitches do. They tear each other down. Quit being a bitch. Love y'all. If you talk shit about the way other people hunt, the only thing you hunting is dick. If you talk shit about the way other people hunt, you probably bring anal ease on camping trips with your buddy. America was built on hopes and dreams, right? If you talk shit about the way other people hunt, I bet the only meat you ever skimp belonged to your girlfriend, Steve. If you talk shit about the way other people hunt, I got one question for you. Does that bedazzled crossbow scare the deer off? If you fuck with other people about the way they hunt, I gotta know, how far from the road is your stand and does your purse slow you down any?